Okay, I've got these mounted temporarily just so I could get some power going. They articulates back and forth. Somewhat cloudy day today, but uh, we got some articulation here mounted on hinges here. I can change the pitch with this. So, got those, these wired in uh, series. Ran in through the extension cord. And up to here, ran into one breaker right now. Right now, it's only running 40 watts. It was 60 a little while ago. I expected to uh, see a little bit more, maybe uh, uh, 80 or 90, but uh, not there. I have to see why. Um, anyway, so there's that. And then uh, what I did is uh, I took <coughs> out of the inverter to there um, in the kilowatt meter. The power strip is everything off the inverter. The uh, chargers for the drills, the power tools, and then uh, I ran this cord, uh, I uh, ran that back fed it into that plug. So now I can power my shed off of the system, and then uh, Make this a little more permanent with heavier gauge wire uh, running into running into here, but um, I have this shut off so that isolates isolates the shed. I also shut it off inside, so double protected myself from back feeding in the electricity. And then uh, later in another later video, I'm going to uh, get in the electrical panel and then wire in the refrigerator and whatnot um, through that circuit. So I'll show you that in a later video. So. I can power everything in the shed, and then I can power whatever we want to in the house, and we'll do that later. But anyway, now, now we're down to 20 watts. So we got major cloud cover. All right, just wanted to show you I got that set up. Clean up this mess, tripping over these cords. Getting there. <laughs> 